Welcome back. This is Kirtish and today I'm going to help you how exactly you can create a sticky header in your WordPress blog. Likewise, if you're really interested in how to tips or to troubleshoot your WordPress website or any digital marketing tool, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I'll be more than happy to help you in the going forward sessions. Without wasting time, let's go to the screen and discuss about what exactly and how you can do that. First of all, you have to log into the WordPress backend the way I have logged in myself. Here you can see this is one of my dummy websites which I created just before this session and there you will find there is a dummy menu options which has a certain categories and everything. Now what happened is if I will scroll down you can see the menu options which is the primary header just gone away. So now I would like to stick them at the header so that people can navigate easily in case they wanted to navigate through your website or pages then how you can do that. That can be easily possible with the help of a premium theme. If you have, then your premium theme will definitely offer you that option to make that a title or a header as a sticky or not. But in case, if you're not using a premium theme like this, which is a free theme, in that case, how exactly you can do that? You can use a plugin called My Sticky Menu. To install and activate that plugin, head over to your WordPress dashboard, click to the plugin. Inside that, click to the Add New Plugin. There you have to search about My sticky menu the moment when you will search it this is the plugin you will figure out click to install now then the next step is activate that plugin the moment when you will activate that plugin on the left hand side you will figure out a new option has been created called my sticky menu there just go there and click to sticky menu setting now there are a couple of steps you can follow to make your menu sticky. Remember, if you are having any caching related issue, then make sure ready to flush the caches whenever you will make changes. Now, what we have to do is click to sticky menu. And then after under this, there is an option, all the menu, whatever we have with our website. If you don't know how to create a menu, how to create a category, then I will suggest, then I will recommend you to watch this video there I have detailed everything all about menu and categories. So I imagine you already have this menu on your website, where in my case, this is a primary menu. And at the bottom, you can figure out this is a secondary menu. So I wanted to make this as a sticky menu. In that case, I will go there and choose a primary menu. Then there is an option where you would like to stick, uh, make them sticky on desktop and mobile. Anyways, that's a part of their premium plan. But in our case, we wanted to make this sticky on both. So that was the option we have. That is the only option we have under a free plan. So the moment when you have chosen that, scroll down at the bottom, click to save. As you have done with that, go back and refresh this page. As I said, there could be a caching issue. So scroll down and see whether the menu has become sticky or not. So you can see there is a sticky menu been added. Now the menu stick at the header whenever you are scrolling down. So likewise, you can do something similar. But that is one challenge. You can see the background, which looks a little bit light. And that is why nobody is able to read whether the menu exists or not. So how to make changes? Go back to the plugin. There is an option like this sticky background color. Go there and make the changes whatever suitable to your theme. I did a sort of a black color, then go back at the bottom, click to save. As you will save it, go back and refresh this page. You will figure out whether the sticky menu or the header has the background in the red color or black color or not. Still, you can see it is yet not applied. What I will do is let me clear the caches in case if there is any issue related to the caching or something. I just flush the cache, go back, refresh this page and see whether that black background is been added at the back end of a menu. So you can see now we have the menu with a black background. Likewise, you can have the color based on the theme or whatever the brand color you have with your website or a blog. So that is a one way you can do. Now let's take an example. If you don't want to use that primary menu option, but you wanted to play with the CSS ID of the menu option. In that case, what you can do, go back and there is an option called scroll down. There is a other class or ID. Just select it here and you have to figure out what is the CSS ID of whatever the part you would like to make as a sticky. In that case, they have given here a CSS a paper that's kind of an extension. You simply have to add into your Chrome browser. I myself added, up, um, I myself added this over here. So what I will do is I will go back to the website, enable that extension and then click to this area so that it will catch whatever the CSS ID we have for this header section. So this is what the detail we have received here. Now what I will do is 
go back. But before that, I will show you what happened if I will disable this sticky menu so that you will be aware the changes what we are applying is actually working. So I will click to this and then just save and keep it up. So right now what I'm doing is I'm disabling the sticky menu. Let's go back and see whether that been applied or not. So you will definitely see whether that been applied or not. Let me scroll down this page. So as I scrolling down, you can see still the sticky menu is available because we have to flush the caches. So let's say I flush the cache and then I will go back and see whether the menu is now become non-sticky or not. So we'll figure out, okay, uh, I just refresh this page again and now you can see now the sticky menu is gone away. That means the, so now let's implement the second method which is via this CSS code. So I will repeat it again, go back and then after click to this header menu option, you'll figure out this code, CSS code. Now click it, go back to the settings section. Now enable the sticky menu. This time we'll choose this other CSS ID and paste that ID. Remember, you have that ID, whatever you would like to make as a sticky header. Now I added this, scroll down at the bottom, there is an option called save. Once you're done with that, once again, let's flush the cache. And now then after we'll see whether that menu has become sticky or not. So let me refresh this and you will figure out if I will scroll down, you can see the sticky menu option is again enabled. Likewise, simply using this my sticky menu option, either via CSS ID or via the menu options you already have, you can make anything in terms of sticky. Remember, this can be very much helpful in case you have certain custom code, such as let's say if I will go to this dashboard area and you will figure out sometime we would like to show something like this. If I will go to the blogging .com, this is my primary blog. On that blog, if you will go and scroll down top and bottom, sometimes you will figure out there is some sticky header. What is that header? That header will show certain offers, whatever I'm running on my courses. Something similar, if you would like to create, there is an option which you can try here. This has add a new welcome bar. The moment when you will click to add a new welcome bar, this kind of bar you can add with your website. So I will enable this. You can figure out what exactly you want it. You can scroll down and click save it. And let's see whether that header bar has been added or not. So back to dashboard or let's say clear the flush and then after go back to the tichku.com, which is a dummy website. And you can see this kind of bar is being added at the top. So likewise, you can make anything sticky on your website, no matter it is a heading, no matter it is a footer, no matter it is the top bar of your website. Hopefully you enjoyed this session. Likewise, if you are really interested in the future, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I love to create content around tech and tips to make your blogging or digital marketing journey quite easier. Thank you very much for watching this one. See you in the next one.